So we're now going to start talking about a bunch of different operators in Java Streams. And to do this, we're going to focus on a simple case study program called the Simple Search Stream Program. And we're going to use this to show off a whole slew of different Java sequential stream capabilities. And first, let's just start by visualizing what this is doing. So this program finds words in an input string. And just for kicks, we're going to make the input string be the Do Re Mi song from the classic musical The Sound of Music, where Maria von Trapp sings to the children to teach them the names for musical notes. Do Re Mi, if you've never seen it, you should Google it. It's pretty funny. And uh, so that's what we're going to use as the, the input for this program. And you're, we're going to go look for the words to find, like Do Re Mi Fa So La Ti Do. And we're going to find those in the input, and we're going to print out where they occur. So that's what this program does. And we're going to showcase a bunch of Java functional programming features, like Lambda expressions, method references, and so on, together with the Java sequential streams features. And what's cool about this, not that we're going to do it for this simple example, but it's trivial to change this simple example to use parallel streams without doing much of anything other than changing stream to parallel stream, which is kind of cool. And here's what the output looks like. So for each of the words of the musical notes, it'll say where that word appeared as an offset into the input string. So the word ray shows up at index 131 and 141 and 151 and so on and so forth. We're also going to show off some other cool things. This is demonstrating some other features in modern Java, such as the ability to do slicing. And this is going to allow us to be able to search for certain words like la, and it'll say where it appears in the indices. And we'll just take a slice of stuff. And we'll talk about how to do this. And, and the point here is to show off a few other cool intermediate operations in Java streams, like drop while and take while, which allow you to do various kinds of short-circuited operations that will either start with the beginning of a matching predicate or end with the matching predicate. And we'll take a look at those in just an example. Uh, when we look at this in more detail. So this is, for example, printing out the results of each entry in a map where the key equals a word and the value equals the list of search results. So let's talk about the main program. This just gives you the driver for this thing. So what this does is it sequentially searches for words in a string that contains the contents of the file, which is the do, re, mi song keywords. And the driver code you'll notice here doesn't actually use Java streams. It's just good old Java object-oriented programming. So it shows that you can make these two paradigms work together very nicely, a very common thing to do. So we start out by going ahead and opening up the input file. And we're going to separate the various elements of this with an at sign. So that's going to go ahead and get us the, the lyrics to the Do, Re, Mi song. We've looked at this earlier when we took a look at the bard examples from Shakespeare. We're then going to go ahead and read another file, which is going to be the list of words to find. So that's the do, re, mi list of words. So now we have a list of words to find, and we have an input string. And then we're going to connect the input string to a word searcher. And we'll take a look at what a word searcher is. It's actually pretty cool. It finds the words. And then we're going to use the word searcher. We're going to give it a list of words to find. And it's going to give us back a list of search results, where the search results are going to indicate where, if anywhere, a particular word appears multiple times in the input string. And then we go ahead and print the results in various ways. So we'll see that we're going to print it using just printing everything. Then we're going to slice and dice it with some other examples as well. So that's the end of the overview of the simple search stream program.